Hello and welcome to Adelaide, Australia. It's in my hotel room here at the Bend Racecourse. Now, we're here with uh, Zika checking out the new 7X, but into our emails today fell a little bit of information from our friends over at Tesla, which I think you're going to want to hear about, particularly if you own a hardware version 4 car. Anyway, let's find out what it's about. So the big news is that if you own a Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model Y with hardware 4, then you can likely jump in your car today, push update, and you will get full self-driving supervised. Let's clarify, it is supervised. So initially the rollout from today is just for those people who've already pre-purchased the software. But as Tesla has promised, they are going to do a subscription uh, system for this. Uh, and that subscription price will be $159 per month. And that will be coming very soon, they said. Again, they haven't given us an exact timing on that. That is about the same if you were to just to subscribe on an ongoing basis to paying off full soft driving in about six years. And I suspect for many people that could be a great way to do it. Because of course, if you buy full self driving on your Tesla, you replace your car every say four or five years, you're not going to get that full value out of that. Essentially by buying a subscription, you can transfer that to the new car just by signing up into a new subscription with a new car. So I think that's going to be a really popular option for people in New Zealand. And having driven full self driving supervisor recently in Brisbane, you can watch our video up there. Uh, I think for a lot of people, particularly those who have pretty rough commutes, do a lot of long, high, uh, long like main motorway work. Say you work in uh, Auckland, live in Hamilton, or vice versa. Uh, or for myself, I live about 100k from Auckland. I think this could be incredibly appealing and actually pretty good value as a load saver. So yeah, so that's what they've announced uh, so far. Um, no indication on what's happening with hardware three uh, or earlier cars. Um, if you buy a new car, a new Tesla, you do get 30 days trial of full self-driving. Now, the company is also planning to offer test drives of full self-driving in their dealerships. And I guess that's for people who are either buying a new Tesla or have one and want to consider that they want to go and spend that extra money. But they haven't actually put a timeline yet on when that is going to happen. Hopefully soon. Now, Tesla are, of course, still being very clear on all their statements. This is not autonomous driving. You still have to be behind the wheel and really take control at any time. But it does mean that you can go for extended periods without touching the wheel and uh, the car will navigate to where it, you want it to go using its camera-based system. We're really eager to try the system in New Zealand to see how it's going to uh, handle our road markings, our signage, our, our, our systems are a bit uh, inconsistent, particularly compared to Australia. And also, we want to see how it will perform in uh, bad weather and rain because we've driven vision-based systems before, including in Teslas, that did struggle a little bit with heavy rain and we get a fair bit of that in New Zealand. So it's going to be really interesting to see what it can do in the real world. Now, the legalities of this. So Tesla have obviously indicated that having someone in control makes it legal and that uh, if you have five cases of where the car detects you've been uh, not paying attention or looking at your phone, all those kind of things, you can't do that when you're in the uh, in the driver's seat when you are using full self-driving, that would be breaking the law using your phone, of course. Then uh, the system will lock you out for a period of time to, I guess, punish a little bit and trying to encourage you to follow those rules. Now, interestingly, after our test of full self-driving, the uh, NZTA got in touch with us and indicated that actually there is no rule that says someone has to be behind the wheel. The issue comes when there is an incident, when the car does something wrong uh, around uh, who was responsible for that vehicle. So I think uh, these kind of systems, and as we progress to full self-driving, are going to be a bit of a minefield as, as we go forward. But anyway, look, thanks for listening to this uh, pretty short video going up fairly late at night, obviously, because we thought we'd get this on the breaking news. The full story is on the website now. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all those things. And we'll have a review of the system in New Zealand very soon. Tesla have promised us that a car for us to try with it is not far away.